Hey gang, I'll tell you that out of all of the, the things that we do here at Propellant Media, um, within the, the paid search, paid social space, I can't tell you how important this conversation is. Measuring micro and macro conversions, why it's important, why you should do it, how to do it. I mean, there's tons of videos on how to set this stuff up, right? But let me kind of give you the strategy, sort of the background behind it. So, you know, a lot of times when you start a campaign and, you know, you're expecting that you're going to get tons of phone calls, tons of leads. Those leads aren't coming in for whatever reason, right? You're, you're trying to troubleshoot, you know, you're trying to change your ad copy, your ads, all that. And a lot of times, you know, from what we've seen from a lot of clients that we work with, you know, there's, there's an area around micro conversions that gets missed. There are other maybe less important but still quasi-important button clicks that could tell part of the story for a campaign that you've developed versus just a macro conversion, just, just in terms of like, okay, you always want to count your macro conversions when you're doing your Google Tag Manager setup, if you're going to Google Ads and trying to get that whole puppy set up, all that makes sense, right? But a lot of times people don't think about those other conversion tactics that are important. When I say conversion tactics, I mean button clicks, 50% of the video that's been played more, people that have visited three or more pages. Those things really do matter. Now, the ones that matter the most, without a doubt, are gonna be, you know, you have a pop-up that shows up on someone's website and, you know, they can submit their contact information or whatnot and counting those as macro conversions. Absolutely. Form submission embeds. Absolutely. Phone number. So you have people that call in, text message you, appointment that gets set, people that engage with your chat bot, an application that gets submitted. All of those you are always invariably going to want to count in your macro conversions. And you're also going to want to assign values. I'll talk about that down here. Assign values to both your macro conversions and your micro conversions. We do that a lot in many of our campaigns so that you can then move to a different bid strategy, which we'll talk about in a second. But the bigger picture here for everyone that's listening is by when you create such a campaign for micro and macro conversions and you're measuring all of that, you're able to see a bigger story of what's happening across all your campaigns. So if you're not getting a ton of form submissions, but maybe you are getting button clicks and you can share that story with your client, letting them know that, hey, we're not getting form submissions, but we are getting button clicks. This other thing is happening on the page. We need to make some modifications. We need to improve maybe our funnel a little bit more. Maybe we need to move the form elsewhere in the, in the website. Those are some of the changes that, that we typically make and that we recommend um, so that you're telling a fuller story beyond just the macro conversions that you're measuring across your campaigns, essentially. And so <clears throat> that's also important, gang, because if you're not able to get a lot of macro conversions that, that's popping off the way that you expect, there might be some other micro conversions that you can both measure, but also use that data to feed into some of your other bid strategies. And so when I say bid strategies, a lot of times, and I'm going to pull something up so everyone can kind of see what I'm talking about. When I'm talking, when I'm thinking about bid strategies, you know, a lot of times folks will start off with, um, with, man, with cost per click is the main one. Like you can have a manual CPC bid strategy. You start off with like five, 10, 15, 20 bucks. Your budget's like 50, hundred dollars and you're off to the races, right? And I usually start off there just because um, it's important uh, to just like have that initial level of control. But then eventually, if you're doing it right and you're measuring, like you have all your conversions set up under the measurement section here within Google, under conversions, that's when, you know, I might come in here and I'm going to start making some changes. Like I don't usually do max clicks. Instead, I usually go to max conversions initially. So if you go over here to max conversions in that stage, or, or max conversion value, but I like max conversions personally, um, if you're measuring both max convert, um, uh, macro conversions as well as micro conversions, the max conversion value actually might be more important because then you, the system is going to try to optimize and bid appropriately for those values that's going to maximize the overall value um, uh, that's associated with each of your conversions. So to give you a quick example, to give you a quick example, let's say you came over, uh, let's see here, it looks like I've kind of lost it. Let's see, where was I? Here we go. So let's say, for example, you assigned a $200 value to your form submission embeds. 
Maybe you assign a $500 value to your phone numbers, but you only assign like a $5 value to your button clicks. The system is going to optimize and the keywords are going to be optimized from a bid standpoint to trying to generate for you as high of a value for phone numbers as well as pop-up forms, form embed submissions, those types of things. Whereas if you had both button clicks and the pop-ups, the system may just go ahead and bid as much as possible and you might just be getting more button clicks, but it's not really optimizing towards your macro conversions, if that makes sense, everyone. So that's why, you know, starting out, we start off with a cost per click bid strategy, but then we start to move over to maximize conversions and maybe maximize conversion value. But then once I've done that, usually I'm moving things over to a cost for setting a cost per action bid strategy. And that's where you can really hone in on, okay, if I'm, if I'm averaging a hundred dollar cost per action specifically for those macro conversions, that's when I can start to keep lowering it and lowering it to ensure that I'm getting, um, I'm getting the lowest cost per action and getting as many of those actions, as many of those pop-up form submissions, those types of things as much as I possibly can. And so that's usually the approach that we take. Um, and so, you know, I'm not going to bore you all. I, I think, you know, the, the, the concept here is when you're doing your setup. If you're going over into Google Ads, right, and this, I mean, you can use this for anything, um, Facebook, uh, just anything else that's under the sun, but if you come over here into your tools and your settings and conversions, you go back, uh, let's see here, let's make certain we're able to go through this process. If we hit continue, you can see all the different types of conversions that may or may not have been set up for this campaign. Maybe you have phone calls and you have you know, a conversion action with a value that's associated with it, form submissions of value that's associated with it. Um, for those retail brands, I don't know if you know this, but you can actually measure, um, you can actually measure those that use Google Maps to go to your location. And so you can leverage that as well as another conversion action and assign a value to that. And then if you just want to measure button clicks, you could do that too. The key is always have a lower value associated with a button click or a micro conversion compared to a macro conversion, okay? If you look at it more from that standpoint, you're then going to be able to set up some pretty powerful bid strategies. And then hopefully eventually you'll be able to move to, um, to a target ROAS uh, type of a bid strategy as well eventually. And that's a lot of times that's what we've done for uh, across many campaigns that we run for, for many of our clients. And so I hope this was helpful. I know this is a little bit more around theory, less around just how to build a campaign or, or whatnot, but you always want to assign values. You always want to sort of break up and ensure that you're at least measuring one or two micro conversions for your campaigns. And, you know, ultimately this is going to help inform your, um, inform your, uh, your strategies um, for many of the campaigns that you are running uh, across your accounts. And so thanks so much. Thanks for taking the time. Greatly appreciate it, everyone. Talk to you soon.